3D Crypto here. Hope everyone's doing well. And guys, today I've got some uh, bankroll related news, but not from bankroll, from um, other projects, um, and more specifically uh, the Banker Token. So, guys, um, uh, obviously we do know that the the Banker Token is now a utility token because, um, as we now know, for Flow to unlock referral reward levels, you will need to have Banker token held in your wallet and obviously the amount of banker held in your wallet dictates um, how many reward levels uh, you can go down and earn um, so the max you need is 15,000 but I think the entry is um, only 50 banker tokens required and as you can see that that made the price go up so people started buying up uh, banker there was a lot of focus on banker and then what we had is um, from another project on the, the Tron blockchain, um, UME. Um, so they're basically Tron Chain, Eclipse City, UME. It's all under the same umbrella. And they went ahead and they uh, released an announcement saying that we've gone ahead and um, we're going to start listing a uh, banker token up for a vote. And if it wins, we'll provide a, um, a, a mining farm. Um, and we'll also put them on the exchange. So UME is a, basically, according to Dapp Raider, it's a social experiment on the Tron blockchain, um, and it allows you to stake and earn their proprietary token, which is UME, and they've oh, that's their governance token. And they've also got um, a Uswap uh, decentralized exchange. So um, I had a bit of a conversation with the, the lead dev, um, Andreas, um, and he basically, I just asked him a question saying, look, we, or bankroll, did not apply for this listing. He said, no, I've received an email and obviously it was a Russian email. Um, and he goes, what, is this not sent by you? I said, yeah, no, it wasn't sent by us. Um, and he basically said, no problem. He goes, um, apologies for the mix up. We'll remove it from the, um, the listing. Uh, but it goes, someone applied on your behalf. Uh, it's a mistake. And he goes, no problem. He goes, it's been a mix up. At, he goes, looks our bad. We should have locked the request to the site URL. But he goes, thanks for clarifying for me. And he goes, we'll make an announcement on um, uh, the uh, UME Telegram and the UME site about all this stuff. Um, uh, and we're not basically going to uh, be listing you. And then yesterday, I got another message from a few people saying that um, Andres is now going to go ahead and uh, list all of this stuff. So um, I sent him out a message. I said, look, Andres, what's going on? He goes, look, he goes, we had a community vote and there was an, a, a big demand to have Banker as part of the vote. So he goes, look, we know it's nothing to do with you guys. It's, it's like an unofficial thing, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to listen to our community because they want Banker so badly. Um, and if it is selected, uh, he goes, look, we're going to add the liquidity ourselves and we're going to open up a, a, a liquidity pool, farming pool. Um, for UME, um, and he goes, look, it, that's if it's decided by the community. So obviously, as uh, Bankroll is a decentralized DeFi app, as is UME, uh, we can't actually stop anyone from doing this kind of stuff. So if they want to go ahead and um, buy, um, basically banker tokens, that's that's on them. So um, today I've seen on Uswap, <clears throat> they've got the voting in place, um, and they're you got the Bridge Oracle, Dice, Live, and Banker. And obviously, it's been kind of like a day or two, and the Banker token is well, well kind of ahead of everything else with over 70% of the vote. So it looks like it is going to win this vote. Um, let's have a quick look of when this vote ends. So this vote will end on the 30th. So on Saturday, this vote will end. And um, it looks like Banker Token's going to win. And then when Banker Token does win, it will firstly be on the Uswap exchange. So you could basically go ahead and buy and sell um, Banker Token. And it will also have its own liquidity pool. So you can kind of pair it up with tokens and then do some mining um, for UME tokens, I'm guessing. But obviously, guys, I just want to put out there, um, this is not in any way... Um, affiliated with bankroll so the contracts that they're going to pull out on um on the exchange on the liquidity and the mining they haven't been audited by bankroll in no way are we affiliated with them so if something does go wrong down the line where with your trx or your banker token on their platform um obviously bankroll's not going to be held responsible so do your own research um and kind of before you jump in uh, to see what you're getting yourself into because obviously guys um, farming is something that we used to have as a legacy um, project 
Um, obviously, we had the bankroll farm, and it was uh, initially mining banker token and then banker X token. But then obviously the yield wasn't exactly what everyone wanted because it was a a yield that was unpredictable. It was not set in stone. Um, it would fluctuate. And from there, flow was born. And obviously flow is your 1% daily um, high yield um, open-ended certificate of deposit. So that was the focus for bankroll going forward. So we kind of retired all the farms and focused on flow with the Bankrex token. And as you can see, there's been a lot of um, evolve, um, involvement of the uh, the community and the contract has evolved and flow version 1.2 will be coming out very shortly. Um, so the focus at the moment is solely front and center on bankroll flow. And then a part of that um, to give utility back to the banker token is that it was announced that the banker token would be required to unlock reward levels in uh, flow. And if you pair that along with UME and Eclipse City um, wanting to list Banker Token on their platform due to community demand, you can see that this price is going to go up. So this price was at four. Uh, Bank Teller made the announcement that it would be needed for levels, and it jumped up to about seven, um, seven, eight. And then yesterday we had the announcement from Andreas that um, they will be listing it in the vote, and it jumped up to into nine. And then from what it looks like, it is going to win the vote. And then to win the vote, as Andreas said, he would have to provide the liquidity himself. And because all banker tokens have already been mined, the only place to buy banker tokens is through swap. And obviously, when you buy through swap, it increases the liquidity. So um, if you haven't got some banker and uh, you weren't too bothered about banker and the, the reward levels it would open up, I would say it's it's a good good it's a good bet. Not not financial advice, but it's a good bet to pick up some cheap banker uh, because nine is still cheap. Once this does get listed on UME and once this does uh, need liquidity, um, they will be purchasing banker from this site and the liquidity is going to go up. The price will go up. So it's a good time to get in. But guys, uh, the main emphasis in this video is just to clarify that um, bankroll did not ask for the listing. The community for you and me asked for the listing. So you swap community asked for the listing and um, Andreas listened to his community and he's gone ahead and he's put them in the vote. He's put banker in the vote. And if it wins, he's going to provide the liquidity. So for all people that are, are from the UME community and the USWAP community and do not know about bankroll, take a look at my previous videos. Um, you'll probably be pleasantly surprised about how we're operating on this side. We are a very focused community on uh, pretty much flow and banker X. They are the most important aspects of the community. We haven't got things like um, uh, UME has. We haven't got um, liquidity pools. We haven't got mining. We're not voting. We haven't got uh, an exchange. We are just doing everything in-house. So uh, rather than doing everything, we're just focused on what we do. And what we do is brilliant. So guys, that's bankroll um, and the banker token um, potentially. Um, it is going to be on UME because the vote looks like it's very favorable for Banker. Um, so guys, I would implore you, if you're in Bankroll um, and you've not got Banker, pick up some cheap Banker, hold on to it because it will be needed. And once we are listed on UME, most likely our player count is going to go up because some of the people over in UME and USOP will most likely dip their toes into bankroll as well. Our network market value is definitely going to go up because obviously uh, UME will have to um, buy liquidity and that will be through swap and through the bankroll network and you will see transactions also go up. So it's it's a good time to pick up cheap banker. Um, you might need banker anyway to open up some referral levels, but if you haven't, now's a good time. So guys, uh, that's all for today's video. If you like it, leave a thumbs up on the video and leave a nice comment down below. Um, if you want to join Flow or any of the bankroll uh, projects, I will leave all the details down below. If you use my referral links, it means a lot to me. It helps the channel out, helps the channel grow. Guys, we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. Uh, so I appreciate if um, you're watching this, but you haven't subscribed, please do. I've had a look at, look at all my analytics and about 60% of all views comes from unsubscribed viewers so the 60 percent of you that watch all these videos but don't subscribe so guys please press that subscribe button let's get to 2000 subs uh, like the um, video any questions any comments about what's happening with UME and bankroll please do leave them down below 
or um, uh, hit me up on any of my social medias. And um, guys, as I always say, you work hard for your money. Make your money work hard for you. Until my next video, take care. <laughs>